Go ahead. All right, guys. At this point, we took about three minutes for our quick organizer. We took about four to five minutes for our opening. And then we did body one. So we probably are about 12, 13 minutes into this at this point. So we've got about 18, 17 or 18 minutes left to draft body two, body three rebuttal in our clincher. All right, when we did body one, we focused on structure, clear topic sentence, vivid, specific examples, concluding sentence at the end. So we really hammered structure on that first one. With body two, I just want to remind you to use transitions. So using transitional words or phrases is something they specifically look for on the ACT rubric. And you'll want to make sure that you're smoothly transitioning, transitioning between ideas as you write your essay. Okay, it's also important to try to write body paragraphs that are very clear and coherent. This means that every idea should make sense and transitions should be used to link ideas together. It can be transitional words or phrases. They can be natural transitions uh, referring to the previous sentence and bringing details along. Let's look at this sample body paragraph. This is body two. Not only does television fill your mind with useless images, it also wastes your time. Time spent festering in front of the boob tube would be better spent talking with a friend or reading a book. A good conversation with a friend is always more fulfilling than watching an hour of television because the people involved are actually interacting, not just sitting back passively on the couch. In addition, reading actually informs young people and sharpens their minds at the same time. Think of how much children and teenagers could learn if they gave up an hour of television to read about subjects of interest. Without a doubt, people's time is better spent doing something other than watching the television. All right, let's look at the structure and the use of transitions within this body paragraph. Not only does television fill your mind with useless images, it also wastes your time. They use this transitional phrase with not only and it also here uh, to transition to connect the previous paragraph, body one, to body two. So the topic of body two is going to be how television wastes your time. All right, the structure that they use here is, is really nice. Time spent festering in front of the boob tube would be better spent talking with a friend or reading a book. Reading a book. They give you two alternatives to spending time in front of the idiot box. All right. The first one's talking with a friend. The second one is reading a book. Now they're going to go through and carefully, clearly explain why talking with a friend is better than watching TV and why reading a book is better than watching TV. A good conversation with a friend is always more fulfilling than watching an hour of television because the people involved are actually interacting, not just sitting back passively on the couch. All right, I like their argument here. Make a good, logical, clear argument that you're actually interacting, you're not just sitting back passively. In addition, here's a transitional phrase they used. Reading actually informs young people and sharpens their mind at the same time. Think of how much children and teenagers could learn if they gave up an hour of television to read about subjects of interest. So they focus on how reading sharpens your mind, gives you information, and that you would learn much more if instead of spending your time on TV, you were reading. Here's their concluding sentence. Without a doubt, people's time is better spent doing something other than watching the television. The concluding sentence wraps up the paragraph, pulls everything together. Okay. So when you write the second body paragraph, let's just make sure we're using logical transitions. We have a clear topic sentence. We've got a couple different examples, specific vivid examples to help back up our point. When we get to the end, we want a concluding sentence of some sort that wraps up the, the paragraph nicely. All right. This should take you roughly five minutes to draft body two. Okay. Go to it.